Hello fellow problem solvers. So today we're going to be doing a problem from the Turkey Junior National Olympiad 2020 problem number one. This is a nice problem which will teach you two tricks about solving these types of problems. I invite you to try this problem out for a minimum of 10 minutes, ideally 30 minutes, but not more than an hour and a half. If on the other hand you'd like to go along with us, I suggest you take five minutes and try to solve this problem, really, or try to push it further, put some ideas out on paper, explore a bit, and see what you find. So now, let's begin. So, what the problem is asking us is to find all pairs of real numbers, x and y, such that this thing holds true. Now, with these types of problems, we have one equation and two unknowns. So usually it's a thing about there being some side greater than or equal to than another in almost all cases, and that's how you find a solution. Other times it's about finding a family of solution through some algebraic manipulations. But for this problem, my thinking is I have x squared, y squared, and seven on this side, and I have x times y, I have two x, I have two y. It seems this side is bigger than this side. So let me multiply everything out here and move them here. What I get is this thing right here. So two x squared, y squared, seven, minus two x minus two y minus two x y minus two is equal to zero. Now here I invite you to take another five minutes and see what would you do with this thing. And there are really two approaches that I take. One approach is, okay, let me see if I can factor these things out. Okay, so I have 2xy, so I'll need to have an x minus y squared. Okay, now I'm left with x squared plus 7 plus 5 minus 2x minus 2y is equal to 0. Okay, now I still need to handle this x, I still have a y missing here. Uh, what am I going to do? Uh, okay, I need x minus y. So let me add 2x and subtract 2 more x. So I'll get x minus y squared plus 2 times x minus y. So I added 2x plus x squared plus 5 minus 4x is equal to 0. Now I see, okay, let me complete the squares. Think of this as t squared plus 2t. Now I need 1 to complete a square. So it's x minus y squared plus 2x minus y plus 1. Get the 1 out of here. And what I'm left with is this, plus 4 is 0. And now here I factor this, x minus y minus 1 squared, plus this thing right here is x minus 2 squared is equal to zero. These things are always greater than or equal to zero. And the equality holds when x is equal to two and x minus y minus one is equal to zero. This thing is true because x equals two. We have two minus y minus one is zero, i.e. it seems to be that y needs to be equal to. Actually, my bad, this is plus one because I'm adding stuff here. I made a mistake, so this is plus one. So y is equal to three, and this is the only solution, x and y equaling two and three. Now this will be good enough, a good enough argument to solve the problem, but I wanna show you a different type of argument. Namely, what we had at the beginning was, was this thing right here. Now, this is also a quadratic in x and a quadratic in y, and it doesn't matter which one you look it through, I'm gonna look at it as a quadratic in x. What do I have? Two x squared minus x times two plus y, and then we have plus y squared plus five minus two y, and this is equal to zero. And now the discriminant of this quadratic equation, or the whole thing, x is equal to x one, two is equal to this, plus and minus the square root of the discriminant over four. And now what is the discriminant? Well, we have this squared, so it's two plus y, squared minus four times this times this. So it's minus four y squared minus two y plus five times two. So that's discriminant. Actually, again, a minor mistake. This is two y and this is two y. You should be careful with your algebra. And this is two y here as well. So now this thing right here is going to equal four one plus y squared minus four times, I'll write actually eight times, what's this? This is y minus one squared 
plus 4. I'm trying to write it in a way such that I can get rid of these y's quickly. And there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong about multiplying everything out. I just like to do this for simple. This is just easier for me. So this is 4, 1 plus y squared minus 4 times y minus 1 squared minus 4 times y minus 1 squared minus 32. And this is a difference of squares, namely it is 4 times. So this minus this is going to be equal to 2. And this plus this is going to be equal to what? To y. Yay, here we go. We have this. And we have this minus 4 times y minus 1 squared minus 32. And now this thing, we have how many y? We have 2 times 2 times 4, 16. Here we will have 8. So it, we will be left with 8y minus 4y squared, and this is minus 4, minus 32, minus, what is this, 36 is equal to 0, is equal to, this is wrong, because again, an algebraic mistake, this is 4, this is going to be a plus, and it's minus, minus 4y, so we have 16, which means we have 20 y, if I'm not mistaken. So we, now let's actually check it out. We have 8y here. So we plus 8y. This is 16. Okay, no, we have 24. So this whole thing is going to be equal to 4 times. Okay, let's do minus 4 times y squared minus 24 over 4 is 6y and going to be plus 9. And now this thing is equal to negative 4 times y minus 3 squared. So we have the discriminant is equal to, so we have x1, 2 is equal to, let's divide everything by 2, we can get the 4 out as well. It's going to be 1 plus 2y, we get the 4 out, we get 1 plus y actually over 2, plus and minus, what's in the discriminant, negative y minus 3 squared, the square root of this. The only time this thing right here is a real number is if the discriminant is greater than or equal to zero, which means this must be greater than or equal to zero. But because this is always less than or equal to zero, then the only solution we have is when y is equal to three. And from there we get x is one plus y over two, i.e. x is equal to one plus three over two is equal to two. And that's our only solution. And as always, thanks for problem solving.